Ever wondered why some people seem so calm amidst chaos? Could the answer lie in ancient philosophy? Welcome to the world of Stoicism, a doctrine that originates from a bustling marketplace in Athens where thinkers, dressed in their togas, shared their wisdom. This isn't a philosophy reserved for the dusty corners of a library, oh no. It's as lively as a Saturday night at your favorite pub and as relevant as your morning coffee. Picture this, you're in a traffic jam, your boss is calling, and your coffee just spilled all over you. And yet, you're as serene as a Zen monk. Impossible? Not quite, if you're a Stoic. This philosophy is more than just a way of thinking. It's a practical guide for life, helping us navigate our daily struggles with grace and humor. So brace yourself as we dive into the ancient yet ever-relevant world of Stoicism. Stoicism, an old chap, was born in Athens in the 3rd century BC. Quite ancient, isn't it? The brainchild of a rather interesting fellow, Zeno of Citium, Stoicism was more than just a philosophy, it was a way of life. Zeno, you see, was a bit of an oddball. After a shipwreck left him penniless in Athens, he stumbled upon a bookstore, read Socrates, and decided to, well, become a philosopher. Talk about a career change. Stoicism then went on quite an adventure, spreading its influence far and wide. It travelled from the bustling marketplaces of Athens to the Grand Senate Halls of Rome, rubbing shoulders with emperors and scholars alike. It was like the philosophical equivalent of a viral cat video, everyone was talking about it. And so, Stoicism packed its bags and made its way from Greece to Rome, ready to influence some of the greatest minds of that era. Scene script. Stoicism isn't just an antique philosophy, it's a way of life, and here's why. Let's kick off with the first principle understanding what we can and cannot control. Picture this, you're late for a meeting because your alarm clock decided to take a day off. You can either be fuming with rage or take it in stride, understanding that the rebellious nature of electronic devices is beyond your control. And let's be honest, it's quite amusing to consider that a tiny device can dictate your mood for the day. Next up, accepting the moment as it is. Imagine you've just baked a cake for the first time. You've followed the recipe to the letter, but alas, your cake looks more like a volcanic landscape than a culinary masterpiece. Acceptance here is the key. Yes, your cake may not win any beauty contests, but hey, it's your very own Mount Vesuvius. Now, isn't that a sweet thought? Moving along, we have living in harmony with nature. This doesn't mean you need to abandon your home and set up camp in the woods, although that does sound like an adventure. It's about understanding and aligning yourself with the natural flow of life. It's like being in a river. You can either swim against the current or let it guide you. And let's face it, it's much more fun to float along and see where the river takes you. Finally, achieving inner peace. This is not about reaching a zen-like state where you're immune to life's ups and downs. It's about maintaining your cool amidst chaos. Picture yourself as a teapot. No matter how hot the water gets, you whistle a tune and blow off steam, never letting the heat get to you. Thus, Stoicism teaches us to be like a duck, calm on the surface but paddling like the devil underneath. You might be wondering, is Stoicism relevant today? Well, let me tell you a little secret. It's more relevant than ever. In a world where stress and anxiety are as common as lattes and smartphones, the principles of Stoicism offer a soothing salve. It helps us understand that we control our reactions, not the events themselves. It's like being the captain of your own ship in the stormy seas of life. Stoicism isn't just an ancient philosophy gathering dust in the library of history. It's a living, breathing ideology, influencing modern psychology in profound ways. Cognitive behavioral therapy, a popular form of psychotherapy today, is rooted in Stoic principles. It teaches us that our thoughts and perceptions influence our emotions, not the other way around. So, next time life throws lemons at you, remember to duck, smile and say, nice try life, but I'm a Stoic now. Before we part ways, let's take a quick stroll down Stoic Lane. Ah, remember when we discovered that Stoicism isn't about being a stone-faced sage, but rather, it's a philosophy that can help us navigate life's ups and downs with grace. And who could forget our romp through Stoic history, meeting the great thinkers who've shaped this timeless wisdom? So the next time you're stuck in traffic, remember to practice your Stoic face. And until then, stay calm, and stay stoic.